There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion to celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't, because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate The Miz on making it to 100 episodes. Yeah, I doubt it. think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration I'll tell you what I'm doing I'm saving these people from having to endure any more boredom instead I'd like to give them something actually worth watching me beating you for the intercontinental title and unlike that terrible highlight video I guarantee that won't take anywhere near 10 minutes are you insane or maybe you've just been inhaling so many fumes from your piece of trash van that you think you can interrupt my celebration and get a shot at my intercontinental title. What's the matter? You scared I'll beat you so bad that Ms. TV will be canceled before it makes it to episode 101? You know what? I think we got off on the wrong foot. You just got to Raw and we haven't been properly introduced. I'm Miz, obviously. This is my beautiful wife, Maurice. And then there's the Miz Taraj, Curtis and Bo. Why don't you introduce yourselves to the new guy? We've seen this before. He deserves it for interrupting this historic night. It's three on one. Maybe now we can watch the special Miz TV documentary he interrupted. Please, no. Ladies Welcome and to another edition of TV's oh, longest-running yes. weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk With Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz. 
who got beat down by the Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Elias' music, I would welcome an earthquake. Seems like Buzz isn't a fan either. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for We Want Earplugs. You talk a good game. But can you back it up? (laughs) Well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently The Miz is too much of a coward to face me, how about you and I go one-on-one right here tonight? Buzz must really want to get beat up two weeks in a row. I don't know about that, but we're going to have Buzz versus Elias right now. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. Let's do it. He really wants to become Intercontinental Champion. This isn't the best strategy. A match like this could put him on the shelf for weeks. Or he could win and impress Kurt Angle so much that he gives him a shot at Miz's title. I'm just saying, it has the potential to go both ways. Oh my! Hooked up! Great power! Inverted suplex! Nailed it! What a stomp! Good grief! Got the shoulders down. That was nowhere near a three count. Remarkable. Oof. Guys, for my money, Elias has to be the greatest musician slash athlete to ever compete in a WWE ring. He's a consummate performer, both on the guitar and in the ring. Cole, I'm going to stop you right there. Elias is the best at nothing. We have a Hall of Famer who conquered Nashville in the form of Jeff Jarrett. Or heck, we can go further back to the music-based tag teams like the Rockers, the Rock and Roll Express, or even Rhythm and Blues. The two of you went way off topic when you discussed Elias and other musicians who have competed in WWE. Besides, everyone knows Man Mountain Rock is the best. Oh, with Chris Jericho and Fozzie in a close second place. Oh, let's not forget the rappers who can put together rhymes far better than Elias. I'd pay to see Men on a Mission, R-Truth, or the master of Thugonomics John Cena perform before I threw a single cent into Elias' guitar case. Oh, 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 oh. no! Oh, no! 
Let's do it! Oh. But he's got to capitalize now. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Ah, oh, fireman's carry. Oh, nasty impact. Shoulders on the mat. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this match right there. Not yet. What does Buzz have in store? <laughs> Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. Uh-oh, this might be the end. This thing is getting more chaotic by the moment. Uh-oh. The Miz gives Elias his guitar. Buzz gains control of it. And he nails him with the guitar. That'll do it. Here's the cover. Does he have him here? There's one. one. Two. There's two. Three. He got him. What an incredible victory. Buzz somehow overcomes the odds. Somehow, he cheated. Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. Don't think I haven't noticed the impact you've made on Raw already. In fact, if you can beat Bo Dallas tonight, I don't care what Miz says. You've earned a shot at his Intercontinental title. And speaking of looking out for you, if Miz attacks you during the match, you'll still get your title shot. Wait, who says I'm not a good GM? Keep an eye out for a receipt coming your way. For the broken guitar, if you get my drift. <laughs> Even if somehow you get past me tonight, you don't have what it takes to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to actually have visited another continent to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> We're A-listers. We visit different continents just to go to movie premiere or the hottest new club. Florida's not a continent, right? No, I don't think so. But it's surrounded by water. I thought that's what made something a continent. No, you're thinking of a, an isthmus. Hey, you know what? It's none of your business what continents we visited. All I care about is embarrassing you tonight. I really hope you win tonight and get your title match with The Miz. I'm so sick of him and Maurice running their mouths. You'll be the first active superstar to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame if you can pull that off. And they're ready to do battle in the back. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike. Sometimes with a six string on their back. 
Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like make and model airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such. to have a seat. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy. Look in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Harsh impact. Here's his moment, Michael. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have a real fan favorite against Bo Dallas. You don't want to miss it. To reiterate what's at stake here, if Buzz can defeat Bo Dallas, he'll earn a shot at Miz's Intercontinental Championship. And keep in mind, per Kurt Angle's decision, if the Miz interferes on Bo's behalf, Buzz will still get his title shot. Why doesn't Angle just hand Buzz the Intercontinental title? I mean, he is giving him every possible advantage. I believe the goal is to make sure it's a fair match without involvement from The Miz. Well, after this match, you and Buzz might be bow-leaving otherwise. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. 
The Bo Leave and Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. What a stomp! Good grief! Boom! <laughs> Beautiful technique. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious Ooh. individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas. Looking for all the glory here. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Not yet. Crashing down the hard way. Time slam. Vicious. <laughs> Typical Bo Dallas here. If he only knew what we all really thought of him. Six. He wants no part of the outside. He's stumbling some now. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. He has to be disappointed in this performance. Oh, he really is so much better than what he's shown so far tonight. When this guy's on, look out. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy. What a clothesline. Ouch. Not every ounce of that one. This could be nice calf kick. Great elevation. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. Can Bo Dallas pull through? Nailed it. Gonna have to compartmentalize some of the pain that's been dished out and find a way to forge on. Can he finish the job? Got him up! Up and vicious knee. It's starting to look bleak for him now. Things are looking dire for Buzz! It's oh my! All but over. I'm not used to seeing this. Belly to belly suplex! You gotta believe this one's over. Two. Three. Scoop slam. He's got a boatload of energy. Let's see if it lasts. This is sickening to watch. The ref had no choice but to call the match. What's at stake here? If Buzz can Jeez. defeat Bo Dallas, he'll earn a shot at Miz's Intercontinental Championship. And keep in mind, per Kurt Angle's decision, if the Miz interferes on Bo's behalf, Buzz will still get his title shot. Why doesn't Angle just hand Buzz the Intercontinental title? I mean, he's giving him every possible advantage. I believe the goal is to make sure it's a fair match without involvement from the Miz. Well, after this match, you and Buzz might be Bo leaving otherwise. Bo Dallas starting to falter now. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Oh, man. Nothing to worry about. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Oh, 
Right, make first right into the buckle. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, nasty impact. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Ooh, what impact. Oh, clothesline! He's starting to stagger a bit. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. I know it's pin attempt. He got body on body there, but that's about it. That would have been a shocker. Oh, he turns it around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. And he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Oh, leg sweep. Nicely done. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you whiplash. Bo Dallas looking to finish this one early. Bo's with the easy kick out. Not even close. Larian. Bo Dallas is in position. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Oh, what impact! No doubt about that one. We've got an argument on our hands. Oh, it's just a few words. No big deal. Got him up! He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Oof! Drop down. And what a reversal there for Bo Dallas. When this guy's on, look out. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. What does Buzz have in school? What impact? This one's up. This might be it. Cover. Hooks the leg. Kicked out at two and a half. I thought he had him. Wait, what's Miz doing? What the heck? Why would Miz punch Bo Dallas? Wait a minute. The Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get an Intercontinental title shot. The Miz found a way around Kurt Angle's stipulation. I guess you have to give him credit for that. Buzz is obviously upset about how all this transpired. Tough night for Bo Dallas. He'll be fine. And besides, he won the match. I'd hardly call that a victory. Yet again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you going to do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face The Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well... If Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. Hey, Cole. I need a favor. It's short notice, but 
you did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in Thanks, man. You're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. Ugh. I can't believe what happened in your match with Bo Dallas. Somehow The Miz continues to find new ways to be the most annoying person on the planet. You're offering me a chance to make Miz and Maurice look like even bigger idiots? Yeah, I'm in. Just so you know, I still would've beaten you tonight even if Miz didn't accidentally hit me in the face. Yeah, it was a total accident. We're, We're not, not brainwashed. brainwashed. Yeah. yeah, we, we have, have minds, minds of our own. own. Stop, Stop doing, doing that. that. You, you first. first. No, no, you, you first. first. It must really suck to think that you have everything going your way, only to have someone who's better looking, more famous, and more talented outsmart you in the end. Triple H has spoken. Thanks to me, you lost the match and your title shot. Are they bringing back the Divas title? And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H back to your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. 
What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? <laughs> Not exactly. My title will only be defended in ladder matches. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Everyone knows what's at stake here. I can't believe Buzz just sprung this title match stipulation on Elias. It's completely unfair. I actually think it's kind of nice to see Buzz pull one over on his opponents for a change. Ooh. I agree. We're so accustomed to seeing Buzz at a disadvantage. Finally tonight, he gets a match on his terms. Oh, I thought broadcast journalists weren't supposed to be biased, but I guess I was wrong. And here's Elias Sampson. The champ to the top turnbuckle. This might be it. Oh, my. What a stomp! Good grief! There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. This is definitely where you want to be at this point in a ladder match. But beware, just because you're the only one in the ring doesn't mean you're guaranteed a victory. Just ask the Miz. Ooh. The Miz, as Byron was saying earlier, was seemingly the only one in the ring capable of grabbing the Intercontinental Championship during the WrestleMania 32 ladder match, but his history will tell you he was in for a rude awakening. That's right, The Miz was just seconds away from winning that match, and he would have if it wasn't for that punk Zack Ryder. But hey, I guess even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. And don't even get me started on the blind squirrel's father. What the heck was he wearing? Harsh impact! A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. The challenger's taking on some offense. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. 
I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. I know it's early, but he has oh, to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favorite here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. He's playing with him now. He'd be wise to stay right there. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances Man. where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Elbow drop! Right to the heart. Oof! Elias definitely in a Man. tough spot now. If he's not careful, oh, this could snowball out of control for him in a hurry. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973. Oh, Pop no. But he's got to capitalize now. Uh-oh, this might be the end of Elias and tonight. Maybe not. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Oh, nasty impact. Looks like the champ is starting to crack. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. Don't write him off just yet, guys. From what I see, these guys are pretty evenly matched at this point. Oh, boy, he is rolling. technique. Elias looking very beaten right now. The champ seems to have his number here tonight. Elias is in a bad spot here, guys, but we all know how quickly he can change his tune. He just can't hold one. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Just when you thought we were going to crown a new champion. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Unless we start seeing some movement on the outside, I'm starting to think this one's over. Yes! Unreal performance! Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, and still pro wrestling world champion, the superstar. Going to add that match to the highlight reel. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw. You showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title.
at Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm gonna show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz has his match with The Miz, so what's Kurt Angle doing out here? I'm glad you two are finally going to face off, one-on-one. -on -one. That's right, Maurice, Elias, and The Miztourage Raj will be banned for ringside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held under his title stipulations, which means it will be a ladder match. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Coming up next, right here, is the match where you can expect the unexpected. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Here we go, Buzz's title and the Intercontinental title are on the line tonight in a ladder match oh. at WWE Hell in a Cell. Buzz has everything to gain and nothing to lose. His made-up title is absolutely meaningless. If that's true, then why did Miz issue the challenge? Because like most of us, he was tired of Buzz's antics and thought this would shut him up for once and for all. Little did he know that thanks to our wonderful GM, he'd have to compete under Buzz's ridiculous rules. Well, none of this would have happened if Miz hadn't weaseled his way out of an intercontinental title defense. Nonetheless, that's all history, and certainly more history will be made tonight. A big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Set it in place here. You're absolutely right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their desire to be part of history. I think they're all anticipating a title change here tonight. Cool your jets, Saxton. Let's not go crowning a new champion just yet. There's still plenty of match to go here. German suplex. Look at this, guys. Things are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Your odds of winning absolutely increase when you're the only one in the ring. But just because you're so low doesn't mean you're going to win. Think about it. Climbing a ladder isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially after you've been beat on since the opening bell. Opening bell or not, Saxton, you couldn't climb a step stool to change a light bulb without getting dizzy. Let's be honest here. Positioning the ladder in the center of the ring. I guess the only thing left to do is climb it. Huh? Look at this, guys. Things are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner. Whoa, oh, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's got to hurt. Dodges a bullet there. What a stop! Good grief! Your odds of winning absolutely increase when you're the only one in the ring. But just Whoa. because you're so low doesn't mean you're gonna win. Think about it. Climbing the ladder isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially after you've been beat on since the opening bell. Opening bell or not, Saxton, you couldn't climb a step stool to change a light bulb without getting dizzy. Let's be honest here. This is definitely where you want to be at this point in a ladder match. But beware, just because you're the only one in the ring doesn't mean you're guaranteed a victory. Just ask the Miz. Right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Nailed it. 
showing off some of his speed there. The Miz, as Byron was saying earlier, was seemingly the only one in the ring capable of grabbing the Intercontinental Championship. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Oh, no! The Styles Clash! Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but not anymore. The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Boom, that's the impact. The champ's starting to stumble a bit. Many see him as one of the greatest champions of this era. Tonight is his chance to prove it. Don't worry, Cole. It's going to take a lot more than this to keep him from climbing that ladder and winning this match. Yeah, but he's still in considerably better overall shape than his opponent right now. I mean, it seems to me like he still has plenty of fight left in him. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Oh boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be encounter here. Great effort, but he'd better save something for later in the match. Oh boy, he is rolling. Some might consider just getting a title opportunity as a success, but I assure you, this superstar will settle for nothing less I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the... Guys, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I definitely need to see that again. Oh, Pop no. out! Those styles Do it. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. Getting the ladder set up right in the center of the ring. A picture-perfect location. Looking to unhook it here. Here we go. Reaching for it's one thing, though, Cole. Pulling it down, totally different. Oof. All right. Don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. This might be it. Oh, my. You got to wonder what he's thinking here, guys. I don't know what he is thinking. Look at this. Can he grab it? It's inches away. Grab it. Put those educated fingers to good use. Shut up, Saxton. Corey, you make it sound so easy, but if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring, climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. What do you think? They're not going to just sit there and let you win. I don't think so. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title, and for lack of a better term, the title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened.
You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. <laughs> Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. If you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. <laughs> hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. <laughs> yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks. Buzz, your intercontinental champion. Uh, do you know how cool that is? I mean, Bret freaking Hart was intercontinental champion. The ultimate warrior, Shawn Michaels. Now you. And none of them held the title I designed for you at the same time. Well, I mean, to be fair, it didn't exist then, but, but still, you get my point. What you've accomplished, it... Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited for you. It's unbelievable. I mean... I wrestled you in bingo halls in front of 20 people for 15 bucks and a hot dog. And now we're here. I'm sorry. I'm just cutting onions right now. And Listen, I, I'm sure you're out celebrating, but, but I'm between Japanese tours right now, so, so hit me back up when you get a chance, okay? I, I just, I miss you, man. All right. Bye. Hey, Intercontinental Champion. That was quite a win you had over The Miz. Yeah, I know we still haven't talked, but I wanted you to know I've continued to watch you every week. And I'm not gonna stop. No matter what happened between us, you'll always be my protege. Oh, uh, I don't know if you heard, but I had to close the doors on BCW. Attendance took a big hit without you and Cole, and I guess some people didn't want to work with me anymore. Apparently, controversy doesn't always create cash. I mean, I'm not telling you this for sympathy or anything like that. Just thought you might want to know. Anyway, congrats again. Hopefully, we can talk soon. Hey champ, just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight, and it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted you? He never responds to my texts, because he says he's not really a texter. Huh, that's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Uh, sure, I guess. Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. That's a keeper. I'll text you the pick. Uh, thanks. Actually, you no, know, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster today against Jason Jordan. What do you guys think of Buzz's decision to keep his custom title rather than the Intercontinental title? It was unbelievably stupid. Do you want a prestigious title held by guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels? Or do you want a self-awarded, made-up title with no history? For some reason that I'll never understand, 
Buzz chose the latter. I wish he could have kept both titles, but I respect Kurt Angle's decision. At least Buzz will always have the Intercontinental title as a keepsake. Oh, nasty impact. This might be it. Oh, my. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky talk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the honky talk man who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. Getting the ladder set up right in the center of the ring. A picture-perfect location. This is how people get seriously hurt. If you're afraid of that, you don't sign up for a match like this. Oh, what impact. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. Jason Jordan just too fast for him. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh, reverse STO. Byron, you mentioned earlier that the only thing left to do when you're the only superstar in the ring is to quote unquote climb the ladder and win. But I can't help but wonder if the pressure becomes even greater when you have such a huge opening. You mean the yips, Cole? I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, it's not like these superstars are second basemen in New York. Beautiful technique. He's setting up the ladder now, but can he get up there in time? That's the question. Belly to belly. Ooh, what an upper. Jason Jordan just too fast for him. This is definitely where you want to be at this point in a ladder match. But beware, just because you're the only one in the ring doesn't mean you're guaranteed a victory. Just ask the Miz. Making their way up the ladder right now. This is a nerve-wracking situation. What a cutter! There is no way Jason Jordan can rebound from this. The Miz, as Byron was saying earlier, was seemingly the only one in the ring capable of grabbing the Intercontinental Championship during the WrestleMania 32 ladder match, but his history will tell you he was in for a rude awakening. That's right. The Miz was just seconds away from winning that match, and he would have if it wasn't for that punk Zack Ryder. But hey, I guess even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. And don't even get me started on the blind squirrel's father. What the heck was he wearing? Here we go, everybody's on the outside. This is the exact moment this superstar has been waiting for. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Harsh impact. Like Corey was saying, there's no better time to climb the ladder 
than when you're the only one in the ring. But as we've learned, that doesn't equate to automatic victory. Especially at this point in the match, Michael, climbing the ladder is not always the easiest thing, especially after you've had people pounding on you since the opening bell. Heading up the ladder now. This could be the beginning of the end. I guess he... Uh, All right, don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. You think Jason Jordan still wants to take a selfie with Buzz now? Real classy, Byron. What the heck? Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well, I am that predator. For I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed on the ground, my friend. Because now I am coming for you. <laughs> this has the potential to be a very bad situation for Buzz. <laughs> Hey, not to be weird or anything, but I've been meaning to ask you since you got to Raw. What's up with you driving this retro van everywhere? Uh, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. I kind of lived in it when I was on the indie scene. Kind of? Okay, I, I definitely lived in it when time was tight. And then when I signed with WWE, I decided to uh, fix it up. Keep it running. Interesting. And the Bug logo? Oh, this used to be my dad's work van for his exterminator business. It's pretty much the last thing he gave me. I guess his way of supporting my crazy wrestling dreams. That's cool. I mean, other than the fact that it still kind of smells like pesticide. Well, I think your dad would be really proud of what you've accomplished so far. Yeah. Yeah, me too. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. As Buzz is set to take on Kurt Hawkins in this non-title match, we have to discuss what happened last week when Bray Wyatt appeared and essentially threatened Buzz. That was creepy. I don't have a good feeling about what might happen next. When the Eater of Worlds sets his sights on you, nothing good can come from it. You have to wonder if the specter of Bray Wyatt looming over Buzz will be a distraction from him going forward. Normally, I'd say it would be a concern, but luckily he's facing Kurt Hawkins, who's on a bit of a losing streak, to say the least. Next snap. Got the shoulders down. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Not even close. Drop down. Nailed it. Stump pulling oh. legs 
snap. Oh. That's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. He's starting to feel it here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than Damn. ever. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Hooked him. DDT! He looks a bit off his game here, but he's not appearing too oh, worse for wear. At least not yet, anyway. You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Boom, what impact! Beautiful technique. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, no! no. Styles clash! Can he end it here? Uh-oh. Cole, I think I know what's coming next. Black Mass! What does Buzz have in You've got to believe this one's over. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Buzz with a W. Wow, congratulations, Buzz. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Ain't nothing better than action like... Not again. again! It's the sound of insects buzzing all around us. But unlike you, they serve a purpose. My fireflies light up the night so maggots can seek out and dine on rotten flesh and waste. But you? You're simply a parasite, feeding off of everyone you encounter and giving nothing in return. Your lineage itself was built on someone whose sole purpose was to leave death in their path. To exterminate. And I find that amusing. Because that is exactly what I'm going to do to you. You see, at TLC, you can leave your precious title at home. I'm not concerned with that trivial ornament. What I am concerned with is your demise. Your Extermination. I'm not going to stand here and let you try to play mind games with me. But what I will do is accept your challenge for a match at TLC. What is happening? <laughs> I have no idea, but this is a sick man we're dealing with. <laughs> Luckily, we're not the ones dealing with him. He's Buzz's problem now at TLC. Yeah! Uh, hey, Matt. Sorry to interrupt. Um whatever it is you're doing. What does it look like? I'm rosining my violin bow as one does. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, listen, I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt, and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? Um, I don't think so. If one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. Okay, so how do I become woken? That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. It must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this rosining about 
and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, compere. Okay, thanks. I guess. Well, I'm not sure that was very helpful for Buzz. Coming up next time. Whoa! It's Bray Wyatt! Here we go, backstage brawl, guys. Backstage is probably one of the most dangerous environments in all of WWE. There are so many items that can be used as weapons back there. From behind. Force there. Hooked <laughs> up, back suplex. down the hard way. He's starting to stumble here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. The action is officially on the move. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. Guys, you don't think. Oh, no, You please. don't think. I can't watch. I like this. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Is he really going to do this? This is bad. Oh, no. No, oh, this is sick. Sister Abigail! Come on now! Please don't do this! Oh my god! What kind of twisted individual would destroy something that meant so much to Buzz? Bray Wyatt would. The man operates under a different set of rules. Uh, I can't believe this. 